I mean, it's going there. This is free money. It's going to go back above uh, 194. And here we go, right here. This is certain. This is, I'm going to call this free money. And let's go right here. Let's make it yellow. It's not really the most interesting target. 211 and above is what you're going to get from this easy. Yeah, right around here. Right there. But 194 is the minimum target. So on a percentage basis, this is going to work out really well. And it has to do with the geometry and everything that you see from back here. This first move down and this top up here. Then this one right here. All right, so we got one, two, three. You can count four up here and then five all the way down here. And see this consolidation that you have? This consolidation is the area of interest that you really want to pay attention to. Now for a trade, it's going to 194 and above. So everything you buy right down here is free money. So let's put that on there. Free money. Oops. Free money. Boom. There you go. Here, let's put it with an arrow. <laughs> it's not fun. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to go over and draw this with a... Uh, oops. Uh, arrow. Yep, yeah, there we go. And let's go to a shorter time frame. Let's try 45 minutes. Okay, that's not even wide enough. Do, 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 do. And here is your volume reversal. Now, manipulators will do a push down in price, freak people out, but this is actually a buy. And they're doing this on purpose. This is manipulated volume on Binance. I can see this as clear as day. And you have nothing until it gets back above 194. Right here, this yellow line that you see right there, it's going there, period. All right, um, I'm not, it's not subjective, it's not like, oh, it might go there, it might keep going lower. No, fuck that. Uh, it's going there quickly, and it should be there in a very short period of time. <laughs> and everything that I need to know is right here. Um, this is your volume reversal. And we'll see how long it takes. I'm going to say it, it's going to be. Oh, damn, I hate when Trading View does stuff like that to me. All right, first we take that off, then we take that off. There we go. So that's what I want to say. There's my volume reversal. A little flat doji down here. 163. And you can see what it did. Um, it went to the targets. These are just the minimum short-term targets. Now, if you wanted the longer term, if you want to be a holder, your 320 and above would be what I would look for on it. So on a percentage basis, you're looking at basically a double, you know, you're doubling, you know, if you want to hold it long-term. But short-term, just for the volume reversal, what I saw the other day on this, and this was very easy to see, the manipulators, on this one in Binance are very untalented. And um, the prints, you know, remember, remember when I was telling you about tape reading? And I'll post the link in there. You should read this book. It's from 1910. So it's well over 100 years old. And um, it is the best book I read on tape reading. And it kind of clicked with me when I, you know, just spent day after day watching how um, prices trade versus the prints and the volume and you know, these are all good things to, to learn, and you learn them by watching more than anything. Uh, anybody can tell you anything. There are little nuances that change and um, games that are played, and you have to be there to watch how they're played and to interpret them correctly. And um, so I'll post that in there, and it's, you know, uh, the 
uh, tape reading, um, what, what the heck is the name? Here, I'll post it in the, in the screen caption in the room <laughs> so you can see the cover of it. And it's free online. It's out of, been out of print for a very long time since it's over 100 years old. And you can get it free, and I'll post the links in there for that. And other than that, I hope you enjoy it. And that was the minimum target, which was hit, went well above. And it didn't take very long. It From uh, when was that? Sunday? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Or was it Monday? I, I can't even... I, who, who cares? Price was somewhere around here when it was mentioned on the 18th. Uh, and um, yeah, so around Monday, I guess that is. And then it traded all the way back down to its point right here, uh, its low point, retested there. It created a narrow little doorway that went all the way down under 160. And this was just free money. And then volume just died off here because there were no sellers left and the manipulator was trying to push prices down even further um, they got scared and uh, they had a cover and they built up quite a short position I guess uh, because that's what gave us the target up here but that's often the case that's what you will see and um, yeah so it was a free money trade and you know whenever I post a trade like that I mean what I say when I say free money um, because it was going to go above technically 194 and shorts were trapped and they got slapped and it was easy to see and the manipulation that occurred on it great trade anyway let's go to the other market news and see what's going on in the the world of Bitcoin and really nothing has happened. It's right before Christmas. Um, I'll have two more videos out in the, today, uh, one tomorrow, and even one on Friday. And uh, then it's Christmas time, and we'll go from there. But as you can see, here's Bitcoin. It's not really done anything. It's just hanging around 1700 to uh, the upper 16k range nothing going on there and let's go to uh, let's go to a daily you know my thinking on here I've got nothing to do 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 do, do. got my head short live here and there's my target down there and my next five points down here at the 1456 uh, short from the 18k and target 15,800 and we're not far away uh, we're just meandering right here and we'll see where we go um, other than that uh, Ethereum yeah let's take a look at Ethereum here seeing the resistance that was just like with Bitcoin around that 1349 it pulled back just like Bitcoin did and uh, yeah so we have nothing really going on with that. XRP, same deal. It's doing the same thing as everybody else. It's pulled back. It's just hanging around, hanging in the, the mid 30 range, 30 cent range. And um, yeah, not very interesting outside of that in the marketplace. Uh, it's just very dull. Um, so this is not going to be a long video. I'm going to have another educational video, and I'll probably go on more about uh, tape reading and um, uh, you know volume reversals. I'll talk about some of the educational things that you know I think people should know about. So expect that video out uh, tomorrow. Um, yeah, what is today? Today is Wednesday, so let's do another one tomorrow for the educational. And then we'll do one last one for the end of the week. Uh, the most interesting thing that we had was this over here, was helium, which um, I had more than a few people take advantage of. And it's really, uh, you know, it's been a great trade. Here, let's go back. Oh, look, it's even spiking further up. So let's take a look at that now. Mm -hmm. There you go. It's well above and there's probably some news out on it and again let's 
Let's get to this over here. If you want the longer term, because this is really oversold, this would be it right up here. If you just want the short term trade, you know what I think and my, my point of view on that one. Um, it's already done. It's already done. Um, but I, have, I know people that are holding for, they, they really like helium, so if they get this targeted up here, and, and if you get this in a, in a short period of time, I have nothing to say if you don't take profits, <laughs> at least taking off half. But that's up to you. I remember, I just give my ideas and my um, trades that I do. I don't go over and tell people what to do with their money. That's up to them. I am here for education. And, um, I, you know, my idea of signals are not like others. You know, do you note that? I don't post signals like other people post signals. Um, on, uh, what is that, that Cornex spot, which in my opinion doesn't really work well. But that's my own opinion. And anyway, uh, you see what's going on with this. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed the trade. I got more than a few compliments. And um, yeah, it was a really good trade. Other than that, nothing really going on in the marketplace. Uh, silver popped back up though. Um, so I still think we're going to get our uh, move back to 21 from above 24. And so it's going over, creating a little bit of congestion, smaller move. Made the bigger move, retested up here. Now it's retesting here. It might go a little bit higher and then drop back is what I would look for it to do after Christmas. Um, uh, the Dow Jones. Dow Jones actually popped back up here. It was making a good move all the way back down here. Uh, we'll see what happens with it. But again, this is the sell zone up here and this is the target zone down there. There's nothing to think about. That's what's there. And um, any other questions that I did have? Oh, I did have one other coin that people wanted that were asking me about. Um, well, they, I also was being asked about Tesla. Um, I have nothing to say on Tesla. You know my, my opinion. I'll see you when you get under 100 and even lower. <laughs> it has a long way to go down. Um, it broke the 61.8 retracement that was the first area that you look for it from and here let's go to a four hour uh, you know my opinion I uh, said this for a very long time that this is going to retrace it extremely overvalued with the split and everything and if you see numbers under fifty dollars in the future don't be surprised um, you know Elon really screwed up he uh, uh, his whole deal with Twitter and everything he's done, it's like he wanted to lose money. He just got crazy. Um, but I guess, you know, billionaires go nuts too. Um, and he made really some really bad, bad choices. Uh, why would he pay $54 a share for Twitter? Somebody tell me that. I, I don't get it. Why on earth would you pay that much? Why would you even buy Twitter? So his own... Um, megalomania hit and he just became super narcissistic which I guess it's gonna happen when you become the richest person in the world <laughs> maybe it was just too soon for him um, and now he's all these competitors from all these companies now want to get into the electric EV game and they're building products that are really good competitive products and they have uh, many, many more years on, in the marketplace and in, in, in industrial production lines and so forth uh, uh, rather than Tesla. Uh, but uh, Elon is very smart. Uh, he can see the future, so don't count him out. Uh, it's just that his stock is extremely overvalued. And uh, now he's stuck in Twitter and wow. What a, what a crazy world we live in. Um, what was the one I was asked about? Hold on one second. Oh, B and B. I, I, I'll I'll make note of this again, but I've said this many times. Uh, I don't like B and B. And if you see it back under seventy nine, eighty dollars a share in the future, don't be surprised. 
uh, if something bad happens to Binance, um, you know, uh, we don't know what's in the background, but uh, they have been very stable. I will give them that, but I'm never going to touch that coin. So uh, don't really, I, I would only look for it to go down. I mean, I remember a long time ago trading this. Uh, let's go back over here, and it was only shorts. Um, you did have some people that wanted to buy it short term, which made sense from when it came down here and then spiked all the way back up. But this was the short range up here. It hit two of those areas right there, major areas, and then finally broke down and um, went to the 61.8. And where do we go from here? Well, you know what I think, we think we go down here and even down to here. Uh, I think bad times are coming for BNB and that might be uh, the last one, uh, the last of the Mohegans of the down market. So it'll be interesting to see, but that's my opinion on that. So anyway, um, I will be out with the next video as an educational one and I'll probably talk about the tape reading and uh, I'll go over you know, how I spot trades like that, like what you saw with uh, helium over here. Uh, and yeah, it's gonna this is gonna bounce around a lot. There's uh, the people that were buyers where I mentioned it and so forth were are gonna take their profits. They're smart on any of these spikes up, covering it. You know, to the manipulators and the guys that did all of this. So I don't expect it to last long above these numbers. But it was a good trade, and if you make 10, 20 percent on a trade in a few days, that's not a bad uh, return, is it? No, it is not. Uh, so anyway, here, let's go down even to a five minute. Uh, right, look at that. And you can see the volume shifting off here, starting to lower down. Um, but, you know, if uh, for those few people that want to look for upper numbers, that would be your major point. Uh, this was a great bottoming point. This is a great short-term trade for up here, but this is your, if you wanted the longer-term point of view, um, number that you would look for outside of these levels here. Anyway, uh, that's it. I got to go. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.